Hi guys, just Mike here, and welcome to Football Manager Handheld. <laughs> Football Manager Mobile 2016. Hope you guys are keeping well. So guys, the game has dropped. It's available on Android and iOS right now. The link is in the description to both of them games. And first of all guys, do you want to get this off to a flying start? If you do need any Football Manager Mobile or Handheld, Please go and check out fmhvibe.co.uk, link is in the description down below. So guys, this is going to be a rather in-depth review, probably going to be dragging on for some time now. I am going to leave uh, timestamps in the description down below, so if there's certain aspects of the game you want to see, please go and check that out. So guys, there it is, game configuration. So the first of all thing you'll see that I've got it on the enhanced engine, there is the original and the default as well. Um, higher spec phones and tablet devices, all that kind of thing, will actually be able to play the enhanced engine. The original one is still there as well. So in this one, I'm actually gonna be using the enhanced engine just to show you guys what it's about and if they actually made any improvements on last year. Obviously there's a quick start available there as well, use real players, and there is that no budgets and first transfer window. The user interface the section looks very similar to last year's. I can't really see anything extra there that changed any features that wasn't there last year. No, they all look exactly the same to me. We've also got this insider section. So become an insider. So basically this just means that anytime there's any news about any SI games, uh, they'll actually send you out a mailer. Uh, just to remind you and let you know of any updates or kind of extra additional features available So you can sign up via Facebook or you can send to your email address. It's really easy, really simple to do um, If you're a big fan of any, all the uh, SI games like I am, be sure to add your email address to that So we're so just going to crack on with a new game right here, right now Just trying to show you what's what's new, how the game looks, how it feels So you've got the same career challenge and my club modes uh, Unfortunately no new features added like fantasy draft or anything like that Hopefully, maybe next year, but I know a phone can handle so much certain data. Fortunately, no, no new leagues. Um, you have got that little space just down there next to the Wales below Portugal. It's empty, which hopefully one day will get filled with a new league. Uh, fingers crossed. But yeah, I can't say I'm not disappointed, but um, I just want to see, just try something here, see if we can have England, and then if we just pop another league in Spain, can we change Spano? So we can still only have the BBVA. I was hoping that you could maybe just do like you know England and then have all of the Spanish ones. So I'm just going to load this up quickly, guys. So this this screen actually looks nice now. Uh, it looks a lot less like cluttered, a lot more clinical, um, kind of got it laid out a lot more simpler for us to see. So obviously we've got no one locked at the moment. So we've got, got manager club side or start unemployed. Going to manager club side here. So obviously I haven't got any of the badges or anything like that at the moment. Uh, they will be available, no doubt, anytime soon. Uh, will be available from fmh5.co.uk, as I said right at the start of the video. Obviously, I've got a few, you know, the Premiership, Premier Division. Um, you've got all of the leagues down there, though. I actually got the correct badges. Just that, unfortunately, SI don't own the rights to the Premier Division. So, unfortunately, they have to use default badges. But as you can see, all the teams are there as well. Uh, I'm going to pick my Mighty Mighty Leeds. As it's the team I support, I'm sure most of you are aware of that and if you weren't, well you are now. So we're going to just quickly load this up guys, we have got the coaching badge system there as well. Uh, by now, I don't want to do that actually, uh, just give you a quick uh, look at what it said. It's so coaching badges that allow you to work with players on the training ground, the better the badge the more effect you have on the player's development. So obviously over time that can actually increase depending on uh, how well you do in the game. Well you can actually kind of almost cheat and actually unlock it as well from the start. So I'm just going to skip this next bit out guys, it's going to be loading, loading screens and I'll join you back when the game is ready. It's disappointed to see guys, the screen looks exactly the same but no doubt someone on FMH5 will be making some skins very soon. Let's crack into the game. The first screen guys looks very enticing. A new layout here on Football Manager Mobile 2016. Really like the fact that they've added the feature of the hotkeys in there, so it'll actually take you straight to the page that's available in the news article. So obviously, Leeds United have appointed just Mike as manager. You can actually also go to the last item there and the first item, which is another another nice feature to add to the game. So um, the assistant manager obviously has compiled his team report as always. So let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, so it looks very similar. Uh, again, I think a lot of these screenshots uh, will give away that the game hasn't changed too much. Kind of just overall feels that it's a bit more clinical, cleaner, and the kind of tighten things up a little bit. But I do really like this fixture. This fixture. This feature right available is your fixture listings, and you actually click on the team to see who you're playing. We've also got access to the league right there as well, which is another nice feature. Uh, so this is just the same start of season expectations. Again, looks very similar. They've changed it to kind of like a dark black, uh, dark black, dark black is dark, um, on the back, which kind of checks again. It looks, it looks a little bit more clinical in my opinion. 
guys let's have a quick look into some of the menus now so this is the home screen so this is the kind of screen you'll be taken back to most of the time when you're playing the game so again it does look very dissimilar kind of looks very similar layout to last year's again kind of just looks a bit more tight and clinical maybe but i suppose in a way there wasn't really much you could change with the game's layout as i was overall, overall quite happy with the layout of the game this is how the club squad selection screen looks so overall again it looks exactly the same as last year's no real new features i can see it's been added i'm just going to change the view just here just to see if anything's changed differently no it looks all the same i would normally actually to be fair use detailed uh, report and this is the view that i generally use um same so team clear team save selection so it all seems the same right there let's probably just check on the um <coughs> On the coach report to see yeah no, it all looks all looks exactly the same it would be nice to filter positions out and kind of add different tabs into so you can make your own custom view without further ado let's crack on into another feature so sam byron here unfortunately i don't know why the player faces aren't there i'm pretty certain i did click download but again that'll be sorted out in the next video before my first video goes up hopefully um that screen looks exactly the same this screen again uh, looks slightly different i'm pretty certain but again i think it's just more about tidying the the screen up rather than actually changing anything so you've got the offering coaching role there uh retrain position demote player interaction you get the same stuff i think public private yes positive and negative yeah so nothing new added there but obviously the kind of offering coach position which we can't do at the moment because we haven't actually got any places available is a new nice feature to have to offer them veteran players that have been with your club for so long the position within the club so this is a new feature added into the game that actually really piques my interest the player position screen so available on the left hand side of the screen you've got all the kind of you know what position is natural at and then what roles is available so you've got wing back is his recommended role but obviously you can also play full back um, you can then actually go through and pick the other positions he's available too so you can obviously see how he plays at wing back and also gives you any role traits so if we look here we click wing out and then go to inside forward it actually tells you on his role traits that he will arrive late into the opponent's area which could be key to success in this game it gives you kind of a new aspect and a new angle to kind of approach tactics at as well which is kind of something i wanted to see in football manager mobile 2016 so it is nice to see that they kind of added something into there it's not as quite in depth as i wanted to but it's nice to see that kind of making that step forward Play contracts look exactly the same as always but again what could you add what could you take away availability the same as always history this looks a bit more clinical and nicer laid out i'm not too sure if it has changed or not my memory i haven't played fmh for quite a while unfortunately but it does look slightly different uh coach report again just looks a bit more tidier overall again i'm not sure though it has changed progression which is nice i like that feature that added and the form one as well so nothing added new there, list view no, all the same kind of stuff. Right guys, onto that tactic sheet. This is one I've been looking forward to seeing. So as you can see, they've changed the layout of actually how you can select your team formation now, which is a really nice uh, feature they've added. So it kind of just makes it a lot more simpler. Uh, it would be nice to add them little graphics maybe onto that screen as well, but overall I am actually happy they've done that. Selecting view looks all exactly the same, so you can obviously change between tactical roles. Uh, you can take the uh, legibility players out, suspended players and hidden uh, hide injured players as well as well as changing the view from potential availability to any other aspect you may want to look at. So you can move the players around on the screen to actually make your custom formation as well, which is always great to see. Kind of would like a bit more in-depth in that as well. Uh, so they've quickly just quickly chosen a squad that the assistant manager thinks. We're just going to have a look quick at the player roles. So we have goalkeeper and sweeperkeeper, same as last year. If you need to check any more information out, you can click the little information buttons right there. Wing back and full back as well same again once again as last year we've got the central partnership central defender ball playing and limited defender same wing back deep line playmaker so that one is new this year kind of makes a little bit more sense from a screen that you might see a bit later on um advanced playmaker box to box yeah all the same kind of stuff there winger inside forward advanced playmaker same on the other side up front we've got poacher target man deep line forward all the kind of same stuff no new roles so this is something new the instructions for your team team mentality uh, passing style is the same over here i've got team focus now as well so you can actually change your focus to play down the left to center right or both flanks which could be key for a tactical advantage in a match and you've also got goalkeeper distribution there so if you've got a competent goalkeeper which is another tactical added to the game you can obviously distribute short or long so again just kind of adds that other dimension in you've also got pressing counter attacks all the same stuff there choosing your captain same kind of stuff as before just put a captain in there 
course, we've got the legend that is Bamba. Primarily outlets. This one's quite interesting. So it's going to kind of be the person who orchestrates the attacks, that kind of deep line playmaker, possibly. Got to put Alex Mo in there, and obviously your primary attacker. So kind of looking for that target man, the main attacker that will actually pinpoint in their attack. This kind of means that Football Manager Mobile 2016 could be a more tactical game than one before. We now move on to the assignments. So we have got the penalty takers here. We're just going to pop Chris Woods in at that penalty assignment there. We also then go on to free kicks. We've got left and right free kick takers, which again is nice to see. Just going to pop a player in there. And then we've also got corner takers again, left and right, to kind of add that new dimension to the game. So you can actually have a different player for each side. So I'm going to put Dallas in at the left side. And then for the right side, I'm going to... What? Hang on. No, what's going on here? Okay, let's go back to assignments. Corner taker and pop another player in there. So Sam Byram. Okay, why can't I choose right? I need to choose a right corner taker. Sam Byram. Okay, that's not good. Basically, if you want to choose the player for the right hand corner taker, you actually have to select him in the left hand position, it seems, first. And then obviously, you go down to the right hand position and then just delete him from that one. Okay, onto the fixture listing. This one looks again exactly the same. Um, I don't think they've made any changes whatsoever here. I'm just going to. Um, trying to scroll down here and just see no nothing all looks exactly the same but again what what could they have changed I don't know what they could have added or changed in that one then on to general information nice added feature there that actually added the stadium name so you can see that we're actually at Ellen Road so that's another nice feature not really going to change much of the game but it's kind of a nice touch overall we're then going to move on to the finance screen this looks exactly the same so uh, just going to adjust the budget here um, yep so I can just click on wage budget and increase that New screen here on Football Manager Mobile 2016. It is the coaching screen. Robert Kelly on the screen here, you can see I can demote him. So if he's not doing a job that I want him to do as an assistant manager, I can demote him down to a different level. I can also sack him and I also make him take a coaching exam, which I'm approving. Makes him from a silver coach badge to a gold coach badge. And then move on to my other staff. So you see Richard Hattis here, he's actually a gold coach badge already. And then we've got Julian Darby, he's actually a silver badge as well and then Jason Blunt. So they can actually have their coaching exam taken because they're only silver members. I can also place an advert for staff as well, um, although it doesn't seem like I can choose what staff member to advertise for. Okay, so we're gonna carry on going now with the transfer history screen. There's no transfers there. Club history, this is a nice feature I like to see. Kind gonna of show off all of your achievements. Uh, I, think, I think this is new, is it new? Um, can't 100% remember drop it in the comment section down below it's a nice feature if it is new I can't 100% remember if it is or not though but again, it's just kind of, kind of one of the things you can show off what you've done in the game team report which we've seen right at the start of the game and then the next match screen as well which shows you what formation the next team you're playing might possibly be playing okay now let's head over to the training screen so again this one looks identical to last year's one I'm not really too, again too sure what they could have done I suppose they could have added a few more things into it but overall they're all exactly the same screens as last year and again if you are looking for the ideal training regime just pop over to fmh5.co.uk and they'll have it available on their website so now we move on to the manager option screen we've got exactly the same screen as last year so you can make your system manager loan out players under 19 or not and take control of friendly matches as well then go on to the board confidence identical screen again to last year Next screen is the history, again exactly the same. Trophy cabinet, which is a nice uh, add for last year. Glad they kept it in. And that's about it. Board request, that's something anything new there. Kind of wish you could actually request an affiliate club, but again, it's not something that the handheld game does. But I'm happy with the kind of things you can do already in the game. Okay, I'll just have a quick look at the league table. So again, it looks uh, exactly the same as last year's. So made no improvements there. Um, let's have a quick look at the player stats. See if that's changed. Oh, they won't be able to come there. My bad rules. Let's have a quick look at that. No, exactly the same as last year. We're now going to move on to league standards. So this is a new feature, not a new feature, it's new last year that I really like to see. If you can actually take a league and actually improve their standards of football. Uh, based on uh, progress in their youth. Okay, let's go into the player search menu now and see if anything has changed on there. So unfortunately it does look like it has actually stayed exactly the same. So there's no new views or customization available here, which I was kind of hoping for. Um, we're now just gonna go and quickly see if there's any filters you can actually put onto the um, players when you're searching for a player. So again, no, it looks identical again to last year, which is slightly disappointing. Okay, we now move on to the job screen, which is identical to the same before. Transfers, what an idiot, there's no transfers made. Scouts and agencies, so this is a feature they added last year. You can see it's local or worldwide senior ranking players. Um, I really like this feature last year. You can also go onto your youth rankings and see what wonder kids are available in the world at the moment. And also, 
at the national level, which is the English league system. So it'll be interesting to actually see kind of how well and how close this actually plays. It's almost like the real life English game at the incident at the moment. Of course, they go onto the hot list and cold list, which will be updated throughout the year. I suppose now it's time to actually go on to an actual game, which is what most of you people have actually come on here to see, see how the new enhanced match engine works and if they've actually improved it on last year. So we're just going to process through all this and I will join you back very shortly for the first game. Okay, here we are. First game against Swansea. Let's see how we could do. I like this kind of pre-match build-up thing. It was nice added to the, uh, last year. Well, again, once again, they've kept it in. So that's my line there. Slightly weird formation. Hopefully it'll work on this one. It worked quite well on Football Manager. Handheld 15, I'm not too sure. Let's go. So we've gone and playing on the enhanced match engine so far. Um, it's, it's, it looks quite fairly fast. Nice fluid movements. Um, we are on fast and key, so I'm actually going to probably just change them to extended so we actually have more. And I will change it throughout the game just to see how the different variations work. So, as you can see, the time actually is going fairly fast in that top corner now, um, which is quite pleasing. So, obviously, that was one of the down points, as we can see the goal of last year, that the match engine was too slow when you actually there was nothing going on, it was taking too long. So, I'm actually going to just change it to medium to see again, see the clock is still going fairly fast in that top left hand corner while there's actually nothing kind of going on in the game. So we have actually got a free kick here, which I believe Alex Moat will be taking. Plays it into Anucci. Anucci turns back to Moat. Oh, Fabianzi turns it over the bar. Got a corner. Will we actually have the highlight corner or will we come to nothing? No, we have. Here we go. Sam Byron, this should be. Take the whipping it into the box and Swansea clear. But Murphy, can he play it back in? No, they've got, oh, they could break here. Shit, they're going to break. Come on, boys, get back, get back. Let's see it's Taylor getting back, but no tackle made. Get rid of the ball. Overall, I'm actually really happy that kind of SI seems to have actually listened to the um, issues that we're having with the enhanced engine last year, especially with the off cam kind of when there's no highlights, how slow it's been. And they kind of actually seem to have addressed that and actually kind of almost made it work now, which is really, really good to see. Um, We've got the ball in there, come on, let's get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. I don't think this formation is going to kind of cut it. Although Swansea are quite, you know, got a very decent team this year round and um, can actually do damage to a lot of Premiership teams. So um, I suppose it's not really a test, although too fair saying that I still am dominating possession. I am dominating shots as well. Already, you know, I've got I've had four shots on target today, one, but they've taken theirs. I seem to have made a, uh, an injury here, so I've got to change this up. Um, what? No, no, not Banshee. You don't want to bring him on. Um, let's go for Irwin on there as well. He can play in that position. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. One substitution. This took quite a long time. Yes, okay, that's much better. Last year it took so long when you're doing the substitution, um, which is kind of nice to see they've had again addressed that issue and made it a lot faster this time around. So, kind of approaching half time here. We kind of should be winning the match, really, if you look at the stats, but you know, at the end of the day, Swansea are a more clinical team. Let's get to half time here. Let's hopefully not concede again, although we do seem to be. No, there we are, half time. Let's have a quick look at the screens. All the same screens I'm presuming as before. So yes, we've got the kind of side-by-side -side review. We've then got the stats more in depth. Then got the kind of action points. Yeah, all the same stuff as before. So no added screens there. Okay, start of the second half. I'm actually going to change it to uh, very fast and commentary only just to see how that actually fares. Um, do I need to change it to key or extended? I'm um, not really too sure if it would make any difference, but obviously last year I'll just change it to key. Um, it didn't really actually speed the gameplay up at all. So, no, oh no, not this. This is kind of what I was not hoping for. Um, all I've really changed is that I'm pretty certain if I hadn't changed anything over, it probably would have still done this process in the screen. Kind of was hoping this had gone, considering the, when the substitution was made, that one was a lot quicker. So our second half is underway. Um, as I say, there is kind of stuff happening now, so it's text based, so I don't know how quick this will be. So I think last year it was actually quicker when you had the highlights on than it actually was when just watching the text. I'm not 100 sure why, I'm assuming it's kind of whatever engine it was running on. Um, but it seems like so far, as we can see, another goal, Sigurdsson goal there, 2 0 down, it's not good. Um, look at them stats at the bottom though, again, I, I kind of got that pitch and extended and very fast, and we'll see. Yeah, see, it just seems to move a lot quicker. I'm not too sure why that is. Um, I'm presuming, again, it's something more technical that I can't really understand. We have got a free kick here, though. And Sam Byram knock this one into the box, and we get nothing from it. So the very fast seems a bit too fast. I probably won't be playing it when I actually am commentating on my first actual series on this channel. Um, the My Club save actually is 
uh, closed now as well guys so if you are applying after this video is going up unfortunately um, you may not be considered it depends on how many places I've got available in the team left to make a full squad and then we have got my first save on the channel as well which is with SC United of Manchester hope you guys are really looking forward to all these saves that I'll be doing if you have got any other suggestions please don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section down below as well guys if you are enjoying this video and kind of review, live reaction, whatever you want to call it, please drop a like on the video as well. It just shows your support for the series overall. And I hope you guys already got uh, your Football Manager mobile saves on the go. Hopefully we won't concede another one here. No, just go straight through. Oh God, what are you doing? Oh God, I'm kind of almost happy that I'm not supposed to going to be leads in, the, in a way. Because, um, yeah, I need a lot of work to be done here. Uh, I probably need to work on my formation as well, as this formation doesn't seem to be kind of the same level as what it worked on Football Manager Mobile. Uh, handheld, even. God, this is going to get confusing. I've already made so many mistakes by saying handheld on mobile. It's untrue. So, yeah, again, I mean, I'm happy with the engine. I was happy last year when they kind of bought this one out, especially from a YouTuber point of view. It adds kind of a lot more kind of... Um, to the actual video rather than just watching the the text on the screen although it takes a lot of time um, to play off screen games uh, but I, I am actually overall really happy I know some people don't like it um, but again it's just personal preference there is that option which I am glad they kept the original engine on there because there are people out there who don't enjoy this kind of long winded they kind of want to pick up FM and just play it which is what I want to do sometimes but for from a YouTuber point of view it's really good that they kind of added this feature in as well so I can actually make some more in depth kind of analysis kind of uh, game, uh, God think of the word come on think of the word videos that's the one. <laughs> oh God I'm going crazy so yeah it looks like we're going to lose this game um, 3-0 I suppose unsurprising really there it goes Liberty Stadium it said there as well again nice feature nice touch so there we have it guys that is my first look at Football Manager Mobile 2016 hope you guys are looking forward to all the content I'm going to be producing on the channel and if you have got any suggestions please don't hesitate down to drop a comment down below I will be doing experiments my club saves just general normal saves we'll be looking at teams in a bit more in-depth analysis tactics all that kind of stuff as well as showing you how to integrate the logo packs and player faces from fmh5.co.uk guys thank you so much for watching this video and say if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button show your support for the series and yeah if you haven't hit the subscribe make sure you do so know if you haven't also downloaded football manager mobile i don't know what you're doing get you know you've watched this review you can see what it's like get over there now the links are in that description down below well that does it guys and as always i will speak to you legends soon